A one, two, three, four. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about something awesome about succulents. I know, I know, I know. You think succulents are just like beauty things that are in the garden that is so popular today. But there's a lot of things that I didn't even know about succulents, but I did touch on it uh, quite a while back. So if you're new here, this is another episode of what I'm talking about. And what I'm talking about is that there's a trend going on right now, especially in Europe. I don't know if it's in America yet, but in Europe, they have something called green roofs. And the green roofs, not to be confused with the blue roof, <laughs> the green roofs are actually intentional planting sedums on top of their roofs because the sedum plant has so many benefits. The characteristics of the sedum is just so conducive to provide insulation to a house. And also because they are so resilient to any type of weather, wintry areas like, you know, really cold areas where there's snow. This is probably one of those succulent plants that would, would really thrive in your area. So that's something to think about, that's something to keep in mind. And also the sedum just propagates so fast and so much that in a year you would probably have a whole roof full. Maybe not, but you know, two or three years maybe. Because when I planted mine in my garden, I didn't think it was gonna propagate because I thought I even went to um, Home Depot one time or one of the nurseries over here and I'm like, say don't still just don't like me. They just don't propagate for me. And she's like, huh, I'm surprised because usually sedums are the ones that actually survive. And so I persisted on um, just planting them everywhere and I just bought a bunch. Actually, I just bought two or three of the two inch pots and now I have a garden full, two gardens full of the, the sedums. In, in Europe, okay, especially in Spain where it gets really, really hot, there are areas in Spain that gets really hot. And so they decided to plant green roofs, which means that they are planting, they're actually planting these plots of sedum, especially the jelly bean type, you know, and I'll show you what that looks like. The jelly bean type, um, they just plant it, but it's like one of those um, grass, you know, when you buy the grass and you roll it, uh, it comes in plats. So they would plant that on the roof and so many benefits. It insulates in the cold weather, it insulates in the hot weather because the, the characteristic of sedum is they're shallow rooters and they're, they propagate really fast. And also, to get scientific and geeky over this, um, the photosynthesis happens when uh, there's the stomata. It's like a part of the leaf that opens up and then it sucks in the moisture and um, it creates a malic acid, which is what, malic acid is the, the, the tanginess of a fruit um, that happens, but that malic acid goes inside the the plant the leaves and then what happens is it um, processes the photosynthesis so it's really something that you don't have to take care of because they take care of themselves and succulents of course we know that there's a bunch of water in their leaves right which is great but there are sedums that are not conducive for this just like the ones that i showed you that i have i now have <laughs> a crested one um, yeah, that's a bush, so you cannot um, plant that on top of your roof. It's just gonna fall down. But anyway, um, I just read about it, and there's numerous characteristics of these sedums. Number one is because they're 
shallow rooters and the key to having a garden roof or a green roof is the roots doesn't get so heavy that you know it will collapse the roof so that's perfect for the sedum is perfect for that the substrate that you need is not a lot like you just only you only need a little bit because again they're, they're shallow rooters and especially here where i live in northern california there's a lot of forest fires and stuff like that and if everybody just knew this and they start planting sedum on their roofs i mean a lot of these houses could have been saved right but now in europe especially in spain it's like a norm for uh, houses to have green roofs and especially in um, germany it's like getting becoming really really popular and there's actually a part of germany where the post office ha uh, planted the the sedum on their roof it really benefited the employees absenteeism became lower <laughs> i really need this in my office okay just say this another thing is that sedum can withstand a drought and usually succulents are drought drought plants like drought friendly plants and so if you have a roof that in the really hot summer summer time you know they're they're in dormancy of course they're gonna get dormant because they, they can't suck up any more water, right? In the summertime, it, it's gonna keep your house cool inside. Sedum is very easy to maintain. It, it requires very little water. So, you know, during the rainy days is where it gets the water most of the time. And so in the summertime, they don't need any water. They go in dormancy. So there, there really isn't any huge maintenance maybe a fertilizing every now and then um just to keep them strong and alive very resilient to insects and diseases i have not seen a sedum that had mealybugs on them and if they did it doesn't really damage the plant because they it's very hard to penetrate the outside the covering of the sedum not like some of these um really tender succulents that you find um you know like the echeverius and stuff like that those are very prone to mealybugs and they're very very hard to maintain because once you have mealybugs on your on your echeveria it's hard to recuperate them because you have to pretty much cut it um to the top the top of the stem and then replant it and really take care of it and watch it because some of these echeverias are very very tender leaves they have great adaptability for extreme weather also i read somewhere and i don't remember where i read it from but uh the sedum is actually good for the environment because it if you have like everybody in in the city or the town everybody has the 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 roof the green roof when it rains all these roofs catches the water so there's really very little water that gets to the ground which means that it is less prone to flooding okay so if you have a roof that's sucking up all the water then most likely these houses even in europe they don't have gutters because they don't, you know, the waters are, are being sponged off by the sedum. So that's, guys, I mean, there's so many different benefits to having a green roof, especially here in California, where there's so many fires. The first thing that catches fire is the roof of the house. So if you have shingles, um, I wish I could plant something on top of my roof maybe i will eventually i don't know uh, maybe start with the um the porch roof and just to see what it how it would how it would act i just want to see how it would would react and how it would behave maybe and then really plan to do a roof top garden even the industrial places in in Europe they have like a top a rooftop garden with a little tiny sedum that I have out in my porch I mean out in my garden here that puts out like these beautiful 
you know, pillowy, billowy flowers. I mean, we don't really realize, but other people have already, you know, tapped into, and we haven't tapped into it yet. All we have to do is do our research and then we are knowledgeable about, you know, how to really use these natural resources that came from God and how we can use it to our benefit. I mean, hello, Maui. <laughs> so I bid you goodbye because I got to go to work. I will see you on the next one. And please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. It really helps me out. It really helps out my channel. And um, the more people come here, the more knowledgeable we all, we all are. I still have so much to talk about. So um, please click the like button and hit subscribe and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next one and thank you so much for your support i love you